Hello, I am Dr. Satish Babu, Senior Consultant, ENT, Head and Neck Surgeon, working with the Apollo Hospital, Bangalore. The, uh, this is what we call the allergic triad, where a person is allergic to uh, dust or any other uh, chemicals in the nose, producing allergic rhinitis, in the skin uh, or uh, eyes, probably producing allergic dermatitis, and um, maybe in the uh, windpipe, that is bronchus or trachea, um, that is called allergic bronchitis, which could be mimicking uh, like an asthma. Right. This allergic triad is quite prevalent nowadays given the increase in pollution levels. A uh, lot of us are uh, you know, succumbing to this kind of uh, problem. Now you end up with symptoms like sneezing, uh, you know, running nose, blocked nose, sometimes leading to headaches, eye itching, redness in the eyes, the constant uh, watering from the eyes. And then uh, if, if it spreads to the uh, trachea or bronchus, that is a windpipe, then you will end up with a little bit of breathlessness. Uh, tightness in the chest or uh, and or dry cough uh, which indicates especially, uh, the, the allergic uh, nature of the disease. Now uh, the treatment uh, usually involves a bit of lifestyle changes and some uh, medical um, treatment right. The lifestyle changes are the most important thing wherein you prevent the reaction the allergic reaction from happening. You prevent the dust from contacting your tissues then the symptoms are naturally less and uh, your life quality is definitely going to be better now how do you prevent uh, pollution or dust which is prevalent in uh, every bit of air now uh, maximum ex exposure to dust happens uh, when you travel uh, in an open vehicle like an auto or a two-wheeler uh, or an open cab now in these situations, especially if you have to travel long distances or very frequently if you keep traveling on a day to day, then uh, it's preferable that you wear a mask, dust filtering mask or like most people do, you can even tie a scarf around your nose and mouth wherein uh, the air that you are inhaling is filtered and the dust exposure comes to a minimum. Um, it is not practical to wear a mask 24-7 but at least during these excessive exposure time you can wear a mask and prevent the excessive exposure. Um, keeping your environment clean will also help uh, in, in reducing the symptoms. That means, uh, you know, uh, changing your bedspreads and pillow covers on a regular basis, um, vacuuming your uh, room or house uh, regularly to uh, remove all the dust because uh, sweeping will actually throw the dust in the air. Uh, and that will increase the symptoms again. So vacuuming is a better way of uh, removing the dust from the room. And um, um, you know, prevent moisture. Generally, if you have a good cross ventilation, then there is less moisture and less chances of uh, fungus or any other uh, dust mites and that kind of uh, uh, you know issues happening. And that will uh, uh, you know again help in reducing the symptoms. Uh, some people very rarely are allergic to uh, animal uh, products, animal uh, you know hair or dander or um, you know droppings. If you are specifically aware of it, uh, if you uh, otherwise if you see it happening consistently, like whenever you handle a cat or a dog, uh, you end up with a reaction, then you can probably avoid it. But otherwise, just um, you know um, arbitrarily not having uh, will not really change uh, the the thing. So um, if you are specifically aware of any allergies to the animal you can avoid that and uh, having a lot of liquids on a day to day uh, and having good exercises will help uh, in, in improving your uh, symptom score right coming to the um, medical treatment uh, there are definitely anti-allergic medications antihistamines like cetirizine uh, kind of medicines which are used on a day to day but the fallacy with them is that the effect is only for a short period, maybe 24 hours or 36 hours, depending on the medication, that you will be symptom free, right? The moment the effect of the medicine is gone, you are back to being allergic. Your symptoms will come back to being aggressive. So these are required on a regular basis, especially during some seasons, allergic seasons. Other seasons you may not require as a routine, right? So uh, definitely yes and the other uh, most commonly used medication in allergies is uh, some form of steroids. These medicines even though they have a big taboo attached to them, uh, when we use them in a limited quantity, 
they are quite useful in alleviating the symptoms even in the long run right and there is one more therapy called immunotherapy wherein we do allergic testing by various means blood tests and skin prick tests and then we determine that you are allergic to so many allergens then uh, over a period of uh, one and a half to two years the same allergens are injected or in introduced into the body uh, as a slow process you know initially with starting with minute quantities and then slowly increasing uh, so that the body gets used to having these uh, chemicals around and still not react to it this is you are say, desensitizing the body to the same chemicals that you were reacting earlier this is a long and painful process it goes on for one and a half to two years like i said but if you are specifically allergic to few few and allergens like you know four or five then you can definitely get a good relief uh, and long standing relief and you can avoid medications also now like i said earlier um, these are the only few medicines that are useful um, surgery uh, comes to into the picture only when there are complications because of uh, allergy like you have a sinus block or a, a nose block which is not getting relieved um, even after medications then surgery will help in opening out these sinuses or the nasal cavity and giving you a better quality of life uh, besides this like i mentioned earlier again uh, good exercises lot of liquid uh, consumption will help nowadays we also recommend breathing exercises like what they practice um, pranayam surya namaskar and all those uh they also help in reducing the the severity of the allergic reaction uh, there is one more uh, thing we found uh, very useful uh, is that uh, a saline washing of the nasal cavities what is practiced earlier uh, in, as uh, jalniti in yoga where they take a little bit of salt water and uh, sniff it into the nostril cleanse it and blow it out uh, can be done if uh, you are trained with it or you can use some saline sprays uh, which are commercially available cleanse your nose with that uh, by pumping a few uh, ml of the solution into the nose and cleanse them day to day then you are removing the deposited dust from the nose and hence your um, your severity of uh, symptoms will be much lesser so besides medications you have to follow the other uh, lifestyle changes also on a routine for you to have a long standing relief and uh, in in it also helps in reducing the the amount of medications that is required and of course the the quality of life becomes better because the symptoms are much lesser